two, three, two, one. Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to talk about my Blackbird team that I utilize to tackle the Peacock title challenge run. So, Blackbird teams tend to run the same subs as a general statement, especially for this dungeon. We like Chalowing Chakiel for the looping shield and big damage. The Vampire guy is for his cleric ability, and he also makes orbs, but you also only need five turns of Awoken Bind clearing, so this is why he actually can function. And with six skill boosts, you get going quite quickly. New Year's Alatu solves many problems while also being a high damage card, has a super resist, has your L, has VDP. Like, it's just a great, well rounded card overall. And then finally, Garou is the final sub. I would like, to, like, Garou is just amazing in general, and he works tremendously well in this dungeon because it does so much damage. He gives you nice orb generation. It's a good card overall. And for the most part these four subs are gonna be the ones you see most of the time the only like major alternative that i see quite often which would probably have helped me lots is instead of halloween chakiel i have ruo instead because ruo gives a looping shield but it gives you a skyfall buff and that skyfall buff makes it so when you encounter gabriel it's not necessarily a guaranteed loss because one out of three chance to lose doesn't feel the best on floor eight. So it's pretty bad when that happens. So Rua would definitely help solve and alleviate that problem. And in theory, I have more VDP damage. And I also have poison resist, which I'm obviously missing here. But point of the matter is, Rua is probably the only major sub that I feel like it's slotted in and out for Blackbird teams. And then for the weapon assist, I've had various different ones in place. And for the most part, you're going to see a reasonable similar overlap with the various ones here. And the Ones that I'm using currently were suggested by Light Miru. They tweaked my team a tiny bit, just changing a couple of inherits. I gained a little bit more HP, and I just want to like go through the inherits and um, explain why they were chosen. So Diamond Rem Draw is just a great weapon assist for your leader. It gives you skill boost, bind immunity, team HP. You want those things, it works, especially when you need a single skill boost. For a Madge, it's just triple team HP with a skill boost. And if, and if, which never happened, but if Halloween Chakiel overcharged, I am guaranteed to not die for a single turn. That's pretty great. So if it does overcharge, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. But at the same time, I actually leverage the first um, turn with Halloween Chakiel. Basically, I enter the dungeon, I transform both my Blackbirds, and then Halloween Chakiel's Inherit is charged up, and I use a Madge to give myself 100% damage reduction for turn one. You can't die. You can make sure you have two dark combos so you can set up for there. For my Vampire guy, I have Silver Fang's weapon, and this is like the big change that Light Mirror suggested. It gives me more team HP and team RCV, so healing becomes a bit better. The active skill gives me a shield, which does let me tank floor one as well. Because after on floor or on turn two, after I've successfully tanked with Halloween Chakiel's Imagine, I use Silver Fang and then make two dark combos with Blackbird in their first transform state. Because I haven't final I haven't got to the final transformation on turn two. So that shield works, and then if if I don't actually need to use him for the dungeon, I get that damage reduction, I can tank Dark Yuri Shaw's hit, which I would have probably died I would have died to if it had spawned in this case. But point is it didn't spawn, so that's okay. But it's nice to have that option. For Alatu's weapon, I chose the Prince of Tennis Delay weapon because it gives two team HPs and team RCV and 40% poison resist because I didn't actually have any poison resist whatsoever. So that was nice. And it's a four turn delay. And then the delay is used to overcome the two damage absorption spawns because there are two different floors that have damage absorption and they're spaced quite far apart. You'll never be able to hit them back to back. Like there's no active skill that'll bridge it all the way across. And you either can overcome it via damage absorption or you can overcome it via delays. And I chose to use delays because delay ends up being just the most efficient in terms of awakenings that I can bring for my given team. And in theory, when you delay, you get to stall, and that's nice because other things can charge back up and you get to catch your breath. And then for my my Garu, I use Genmu's Weapon Assist. And Genmu's Weapon Assist gives a skill boost, two enhanced Dark Orbs, and 40% Blind Resist, which is useless for Blackbird teams. But the reason why it's so valuable is because it gives you four turns of haste. So the idea is when I enter the dungeon, I use a Madge to have 100% shield, transform both Blackbirds, and just don't match any Dark Combos, save my Dark Orbs. Turn two, Silver Fang Shield, and I can use Genmu's Haste as well. And then I match my two dark combos. I don't die because of Silver Fang Shield and Blackbird's pre-transformed leader skill. It still wants to match two dark combos when you're in this form here. So I'm still fine. And then I will eventually start transforming them. And you go on your merry little way. And then you delay the damage absorption on floor four. You delay the damage absorption on floor 11. And for the most part, it's just avoiding 
killer or bad spawns that go back to back, so to speak. But with that being Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Thank you. If you need any help, ask me. Sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> and hello, Deck. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Something went wrong in one of my things. For some reason, my recording is not working. Something. All right, take care, Ned. Bye. I had to dump my active there. And hello, Shadow X Fusion. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> do I try and do a few co-op runs with Shadow soon? What dungeon are you playing with? And wow, look at that. They have just arrived as well. Definitely a little painful with the RCVD buff. I forgot to make an L. Forgot to heal, but it's a well, heal fully, but it's okay. <sighs> Nose is running away now. And hello, Tyler. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Alright, it's the wrong color, so I'm gonna use Garu here so I don't get Skyfalls. so terrible today. <sighs> I think shadow is a reasonably common thing. Again, try not to mass attack. Black mages, they just have deeper boxes and and or they've tried many more times. It, there's like a certain amount of luck involved in a sense. What I mean by that is, what's it called? Um, good spawns make a big difference.
think all of these are... Nope, I was wrong, whatever. I don't actually mind because I'm going to kill it eventually anyways. Because in a few turns, their things go away, so I can kill with a mass attack, no problem. Kill with a mass attack, or just kill the Phoenix in general. And then the Dryad will get angry, and I'm okay with that. Not much in the way of Dark Orb Skyfalls. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't think Time Constraint will be the thing that kills me, Deck. There's more than enough time, I'd say, for this dungeon. Alright, I want to definitely try and push it below. Uh, Sena, Toby. I have not been able to play very much, to be fair, though. True, Deck. If I guess I've seen this that many times, sure. Sure. I didn't get rid of the locked orbs. This is a problem. Oh, I think I'm just doomed here now. Shoot. Because what does Ra do? Ah, fish. Too much more. I still didn't make an L. I really... Well, the light orbs technically don't bother me, but it's still good to do. And hello, Mom. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? And Tyler, I definitely agree. Alright, I'm going to unlock the board of Chakiel, and then I can Blackbird it to safety. Well, not necessarily safety. There's no safe. You're never safe in this dungeon. Smack a bit harder. Gotta get down a little bit lower. Trying to tickle it down and then VDP it. Hopefully it makes me enough red orbs that this is easy to deal with. It's not it's good enough. There's red. This is what I'm talking about. Standing, I have orbs on the board. Alrighty, this is a good start.
Hmm. He's going to delay me. I don't like delay. I want to try and chip it down then. Again. Oh, my poison resist is how high? Clearly not high enough. Hmm. At least I have activation, so that's important. Good, I resisted it, but these orbs are a little problematic. Okay, I guess I can chip again. Okay, and I should try and go for the VDP kill here. Yes, this is a good time to try and kill it. Seven, eight. Eight plus four is twelve. That is enough. I should be okay. Thank goodness. On to the next floor. Maybe I'll get lucky with orbs. Not quite. So, I have to pop an active. I have to use my vampire guy. No real choice, unfortunately. Bale's easy to kill at least. Not very healthy, I should say. If it's Saris Vadi, I'm doomed. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm ready to delay. I'll delay whenever I'm recharged. Control Krishna? Wild.
Holy fish, I'm dying. Dying bad. I'm like half thinking, do I need to keep my unlock from my girl? Thinking. Yeah, I should delay it. This is looking dangerous. Christian has 20 billion health. As long as I tickle it down a little bit, I'm fine. Either way, I can just keep holding on to Halloween Chakiel, Toby. I still want to tickle it down a little bit closer. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, this should definitely kill it. Like, I'm keeping the unlock from Chakul, possibly, as well. I don't want to knock it below half health. It's bad to knock it below half health. I'm going to turn on my skills options. Skills on. Do I want to clear this Awoken Bind here? I still need to chip it down is the thing. It's getting Awoken Bound. Oh yeah, I have two Awoken Bind clears, you're right. I forget I have those things. Thank you for the reminder. So I definitely need to use stuff. Well, activating is better than not activating. And I'm not going to use the Blackbird um, Burst, because I want to keep myself below. Don't have any hearts, though. Is that going to kill me? No, he doesn't do any damage. So it's okay. I'll save some of those dark orbs. Outstanding work. Now I need to kill it here. And awakenings don't really, well, inherits don't matter. Outstanding. Alright, what does Ryume do? Does Ryume lock the board ever?
He does lock the board, so I shouldn't use my shield then, right? Why well, do I have Alatu? I can always save Alatu for that locked part. It's only one time, right? And when he's below half health. It's when he's below half health that he'll lock. Makes light fireboard. It's not a full lock and it's not too much, okay. I guess I hit him and I unlock the board at the same time then. Ah, too much damage, yo. Well, I have my things I can do. I don't even need the board unlock, I realize. Although healing might be hard. I think I should shield here, right? I think I should shield. Just in general, no? Because there is a preemptive on the following floor, it could be bad. I should shield, and I get the unlock. It's better. And I'm doing way less damage now anyways. Yeah, I have all my skills up. I'm looking in a good place. to the next floor. I'm ready for whatever nonsense appears. Red Sara, is she bad? I forget which is the bad one. Well, I got my Woken Bind up, so I'm ready. It's just a race, isn't it? This is just a straight race, it looks like. Yeah, I'm and I'm a high shield low health team, so it works in my favor.
Okay, on to the next floor. So, can I just smack, smack, smack? Not many dark orbs, eh? Hmm. Not the best orbs. I think I might be able to kill... But if I match poisons, I could be a little dicey. But I have Garu and Blackbird, so I'm okay. I can get enough hard orbs and overwrite a good chunk of the poisons. to please be light Yuri Shaw be light that's a bright idea if it is okay it's not is this another race Wasn't so good. These poison orbs, I think, are a problem. It's okay. I think the poison orbs were a problem. I should have got rid of it first turn when I think about it. start.
think I should use Garu here. Dark. Everything is a dark orb in the dark. Wow, so insightful name. Wow, I almost messed that up. That would have been embarrassing. Gotta go fast. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this board here because this is obnoxious. You know what? This is done. We did it. We're done! Wow! Why couldn't I have just this kind of run at the beginning when I first started playing this? I could have saved myself so much pain and misery. But I get a peacock! I'm a peacock! This is like the first... Was it the first run of the day? I'm not sure. Maybe it actually was. I just turned on my stream and it was like, I feel good today. And I feel good today! Hot diggity damn. And thank you, Toby, for those helpful pointers. I do appreciate it. Good times overall. Maybe it's because my dad was here blessing my run at the beginning before he left. Maybe that's what it was. Who knows? But I am relieved. I am a peacock now. I'm surprised. Like, my wrist was feeling... Like, I've, I've been doing a good job. Like, I've been resting my wrist as long as I can. Like, I didn't play any pad for several days. Didn't play on the weekend. Just keep resting it. And I feel pretty good. Like, it didn't hurt too much today. And, like, I played half of it left-handed, the other half right, and it was good. So yeah, hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you can expect in this dungeon. This is a terribly unfair and difficult place to play. I really need light Yuri shocks. I want to make that evolution. But yay, fun times all around. So hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there for all you want for a little bit so hope so thank you so much to all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there in the audience for watching. I wish you all the very best looking in your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.